Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We're on location today. We're at Codeverse. We're going to check out a class and we're going to meet some of the kids and hear about their experience. Colt, let's start really broad with, tell me a little bit about Codeverse. We're sitting in this cool space. What is it? So Codeverse is the world's first fully interactive coding studio. Um, we've built out a full ecosystem here. So our trading cards, our mission cards, our TVs, our games, our lights, everything correlates and works together for the kids to learn code. As a parent, why is it important that you expose your kids to coding? So it's a universal language of the world. And if we're starting the problem solving that comes with code from an early age, we're just setting them up for so many possibilities in the future. The reason Codeverse is so unique is that we use a program called KidScript that was developed by our founder. It incorporates a little bit of Ruby, Python, Java, C++. What is so unique is that we took all of the greatness from all of these professional programming tools and simplified it. So to give you an example, instead of having hundreds or even thousands of variables, we have one variable that will do hundreds or thousands of different things. So when these children are needing to memorize these variables, they only have to remember these simple core concepts. And what's the um, age range for Coverse, and how many classes can they take? We work with many different groups. Primarily, our expeditions are after school, so 4.30 and 5.45 start times, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, we also offer expeditions. Um, we also work with Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, all of the local Naperville schools, um, offering field trips for them. Um, we have camps, day camps, so when school's out, we're offering day camps for those uh, local parents that need to put their kids somewhere. So take me through a class. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Codeverse kid, and I'm here, it's 4.30. How does this space work? What happens? So this, this space becomes very interactive from what it is right now. When the children come in, we want everything to be fun for the children. So from our check-in app, when they click their name, um, it will auto-log them into our system and they'll have a tablet for the day. So when they come in, they'll come into our crater room, drop all of their things off, grab their iPad, they'll head uh, to the command couch where they'll get their mission for the day and you know learn a little bit about Codeverse if it's their first time, go through our mission commands. And then after that, they have freedom to explore the studio and work in any area that they'd like with any of the tools that we use here. Tell me some success stories from Codeverse. We actually have one student that just developed a game that is on the App Store, so a real life game. It's called Unseen Forces. You can go online, download it from the App Store. Um, and that just goes to show like what these children are capable of when they actually want to you know, produce something. Well, and I so often think that, that an experience is um, after school and out of school, such as Codeverse here, can stimulate so much in a child to get them moving towards something like creating a game. And so I think it's so important that Codeverse is here. I can't tell you how many students have come in that were unsure of what coding was or their parents, um, they had a very specific task and that, that kind of swayed when they got here because they found a love for something else. So uh, a programming parent that really wanted their child to invest in coding. And when they got here, 3D or 2D design really like pulled or gravitated towards them and they invested a lot more time into that and are developing some really cool designs. Um, same thing goes with our lights. We have a student here who has been here for about six months and he is developing light programs that are well beyond kids of his age. So it's just really cool to see when they come in that they find their, their passion and really excel at that. We're constantly adding to our ecosystem. I'm really excited about the Explorer um, that we just launched. That's our at-home service. So all of the kids, whether they're accessible to a Codeverse um, or not, all kids around the nation now are able to code right from home with our Explorer package. What's the best part of the day for you? The best part of the day for me is when I see one of the kids complete or something clicks with them that they hadn't done before. Um, so for instance, last week, one of our, one of our students um, was able to um, add a new level to their game and did ex it worked exactly the, the, way, the way that they wanted it to and without any hesitation or question and they did it by themselves and that is just it's so exciting for me to see their faces light up when they've completed something that they've actually wanted to 
based on their creativity. That's awesome. Well, Colt, thanks for letting me stop by, chat with you. We're going to chat with some of the students of Codeverse and, and see what they think of this place. How did you guys find out about Codeverse? I was like coding on this uh, program called Scratch mm -hmm. and at school. And so I was like, hey, Dad, can I go like try someplace where like I can go code? And he's like, yeah, sure. That's a really good ho hobby that you should get in. I really want you to make your own website. So we end up like finding this place called Codeverse. I was like, cool, I want to try it out. And my dad's like, yeah, sure. And so we try it out. I loved it. My brother and my mom were both going to this something in downtown Naperville. I cannot remember the name, but they were having, Culver's was having a booth mm -hmm. and giving away little cards, the trading cards, which are oh, set yeah. over there, to people who were passing by. And mom said, hey, we should try this out. Cool. Now you all, each one of you has something that you're a little bit more invested in, something that you know you like a lot, and that's what's kind of got your interest going. So let's talk a little bit about that. Angela, tell me a little bit about the puppet. I really liked puppets, and I remember watching a really interesting documentary with a friend of mine about the person who um, does the puppeteering for Elmo in Sesame Street. And he said that he made puppets when he was younger and I am into textiles. So I was thinking, hey, I should probably try to keep making a puppet myself. Then I came to Codeverse and I still didn't have an idea for the puppet. But when I saw that they have a 3D printer, I thought I can make a head out of the plastic and I can make a bottom jaw out of it and then proceed to make the rest of the body using textiles off of that. That's awesome. So what's, what's our puppet's name? Cody, C-O-D-E-Y. Very appropriate, very cute. So Rob, tell me what, you're not into puppets, but you're into games. Yes, and I'm also very into like 3D printing. One of the things that I spent like a month making on was like an emoji, and it wasn't that easy. I had to like use brick by brick, make it like pixels, and I never really wanted to 3D print it because like, I didn't want it to break. Which emoji? Uh, it's a crying with laughter one. Mm. What do you plan to do with this in the future? What do you think when, you know, they say coding's a universal language, they want everybody to learn to code. What are you guys thinking about for the future? Well, I'm definitely going to try to make a website of my own, try to make, like, the next Instagram or, like, the next Twitter, like, whatever I could possibly get my hands on. Awesome. Angela, what are you thinking? I am actually hoping to go into theatrics. I want to use the knowledge of being able to piece things together in tiny little strings going through my head because I like the way that you have to think creatively in order to create a proper game. So if I'm going to be picking apart a character and character personality, I should probably be able to string it out, kind of like a code in my head. Right, well I am sure that no matter what you guys do that you're going to be super successful and I am going to remember your names because I'm going to say I knew you went. So thanks for stopping by and, and, and sharing a little bit about what you do, appreciate it. So, tell me your name and how long have you been at Codeverse? My name is Abby and I've been at Codeverse for almost a year. Wow. What do you like best about Codeverse? You can do 3D printing, coding, and robotics. Wow, that's a lot. Did you build something? Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. It's called Space Jump, where Space Dog has to jump on paddles to get to the top. How did you come up with that idea? I got it from one of the missions here. And so you, you improved it? Mm-hmm. What made you want to do that? Because it looks cool from the front cover. Wow, wow. So mom, how important is it for you to have Abby be able to do something like this? I think um, coding is part of our future, and so I think it's just important to introduce her and to expose her to what coding and technology looks like at a young age. I agree. So Abby, what's the best part of the class when you're here? What do you like to do best? I can make friends and I can also code. So when you think about Abby's future, do you think coding's involved? I think all of us should think about technology and coding as part of our future. Whether you're going to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a coder, technology will play a role. And so I think it's something that we should all be familiar with. What's the best thing for you about Codeverse? Um, honestly, it's the people. Like we came in, there's so many different places that offer coding classes mm -hmm. for children. But for me personally, the people here are so genuine. They're so loving and caring. Um, and so that's part of what comes, uh, keeps me coming back. All right. Well, thank you for taking time. We appreciate it. Abby, nice to meet you. We look forward to hearing about your next big thing. Thank you.